Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Friends, today we will discuss how to create volume shadow copies in Windows Server 2012. Friends, first of all, I will tell you what is volume shadow copy. Volume shadow copy is also known as vol volume snapshot service or VSS. It is a technology developed by Microsoft to take restorable snapshots of a volume. It means um, if we have stored any critical data on any drive or some other files, if we have lost or some other issue, then we can restore these files with the help of volume shadow copy or uh, previous volume. We can restore uh, these files in a minute. We do don't have to take much time or uh, to take any tension about these data. Friends, one thing is very critical to note that data is more important than machine. Machine has nothing value but data. So you must have to save your data and also you have to save its copies and copies. I mean your backup must be available uh, all the time. So volume shadow copy will be stored in the same volume. We also can see volume shadow copy will take a maximum amount of 10% of local disk space. However, we can reduce our up and down according to our requirement. The system reserve a minimum of 300 MB of disk space for the shadow copy. The system schedule two shadow copies are more as per the system reserve a, a minimum of 300 MB of disk space for the shadow copy. The system schedule two shadow copies per day or we can um, manage the schedule according to our own requirement. Friends now to see how we can enable shadow copies for this go to computer. and right click on any volume friends here we see configure shadow copies here is uh, this option is available we can also use this option to configure the shadow copies or one more uh, way which I will tell you how we can create shadow copy by some other method go to server manager and then click on tools and computer management friends here we see shared volume shared folder right click on shared folder then our tasks then configure shadow copies we can also configure shadow copies from here or we can right click on the drive we can configure the shadow copies from both ways click on it No friends, here are these are the volume like drive C, D and E. These are different volumes. We will see first drive E. Select this drive and here is the next run time is volume shadow copy is not enabled. First we will click on enable. If you enable volume shadow copies, Windows will use the default schedule and setting and create a shadow copies of the selected volume. Okay, we I will select on yes. This is the 
विंडोज डिफॉल्ट स्केजुलर बट आई विल क्लिक ऑन सेटिंग एंड चेंज द स्केजुअल अकॉर्डिंग टू माई ओन रिक्वायरमेंट हेयर आर टू ऑप्शन लाइक मैक्सिमम साइज वी कैन आल्सो सेट एज नो लिमिट और वी कैन सेट लिमिट एज टेन परसेंट ओके एंड हेयर आर द स्केजुअल वी कैन आल्सो कन्फिगर द स्केजुअल आवर रिक्वायरमेंट स्केजुअल टास्क हेयर आर ओनली टू ऑप्शन अवेलेबल ओके and here are schedule task here are weekly and monthly and some other options like daily weekly monthly once our startup login i will click on daily and after clicking on daily it start time is 7 but i will change like i will click and we can also select like 10 am or 11 okay and this is am and every one day and click on create this schedule will be created and next one i click on 4 pm or uh, 3 pm like for me okay and click new this is also created no four schedule are created i will delete built in default windows schedule and delete delete this schedule or uh, i will simply uncheck these options so okay and see mm, the nine am okay click on okay and okay here it gives a message a warning that we are not selected any day that's why this message occurs we can also click on create after selecting this option we can also click on create by manually friend here see the automatically created click okay now we see go to properties no friends we will click on previous version these are the previous version which we are created now this is the shadow copy and we this is the volume and no I will tell you how we can check. Then we create a test folder in uh, uh, volume E, and we will create manually shadow copies. After creating shadow copy, we will delete this folder 
and we will test whether it's working or not and create now okay click ok and we will delete this folder test folder okay and now we will try to restore from previous version Then we will open this uh, newly uh, created backup and we will check whether its test folder is present as you see test folder is present here but uh, test folder we have deleted test folder from original uh, space now we have option to open and copy test folder and we can paste here means we have recovered data successfully we have no need to use any tool any software any wastage of time we have just do it within a one minute or within seconds this is the very easiest and quickest way to restore data uh, if it deleted accidentally or any, any other form so this is the volume schedule copy you can create on your critical server so in case of any issue you will restore uh, immediately if you have any issue you can write me in comments i will uh, help you okay bye